I'm Alex Howard and welcome to this video. This video is a short introduction to the Alternatives channel here on Conscious2. The Alternative channel gives you access to live stream and recording of some of the high profile events that Alternatives are hosting here in London. It also gives you access to the entire Conscious2 library, over 250 hours of courses, workshops, and yoga classes. And I'm here with Malcolm Stern. Hi, Malcolm. Alex. And Malcolm is the co-founder of Alternatives. And I just thought, Malcolm, as a starting point, why does it feel like now is the time to collaborate in this way, mm -hmm. to have a kind of live stream recording element to Alternatives? It was always my vision when we started Alternatives back in the early 1980s um, that it would be more than just a place where there are lectures, where actually it's a learning platform. I think there's a real hunger for wise thought. And sometimes you'll see things once and, and it's, you get inspired for a day or so and then it drips away. And for me, even what the work I'm doing is about ongoing workshops. I'm not interested in the one-off. So for me, there's something very powerful about pulling together... Um, a great range of speakers, and having a chance to watch those whenever you want, to sort of find places where you get re-inspired again and again. Also, to get to events that you can't see because you're not around. And sometimes we can see the same thing twice, but we see something completely different. So even if it's an event someone has attended in person, to be able to re-watch the video often has a different impact. Yeah, I've often found that, that, that someone who really inspires me, I'll go back again and again, and I really want to sort of get the transmission of what it is they're teaching. And that often doesn't happen as a one-off. Yes, and I know that's one of the things that you and I felt a real connection with when we talked about this, this collaboration, that Conscious2 has a real obsession, I think you could say, in terms of the quality of the production. So we capture that intimacy and transmission. And I know that you guys have kind of recorded things in the past, but have kept that very low key in terms of the kind of promotion side of it, in a sense, waiting to have the capacity to produce things in this way. I, I think this, this is very timely. You've come along at the time where we're ready to expand, where there's a, a sense that, first of all, a global audience in, in today's modern technological age is much more interesting for us. That actually you should be able to watch this all over the world. Um, secondly, that um, the, the quality of what we're bringing through, that's the, the people that are coming through alternatives now, I think there's a real opportunity for us to actually get that to a much broader platform. Yes, and in addition to um, the Monday night talks, of which some of which will be live streaming and recording, you guys also have a, an amazing catalogue of workshops and courses. There's also going to be some online courses that we're potentially going to create in partnership as well, including as well as some interviews with some of the speakers as well. So I don't know if you want to say just a few words about some of those different kind of formats and some of the ways that people can experience those. Yeah, I think there's something um, exciting about watching a workshop live so that you, you may not be able to be there, but you, then you're a part of it and you see the freshness and the dynamics that take place. I think there's something great about watching a, a talk a number of times. So you re if you're inspired by it, you really get the message of what's going through there. And we've, we've had some amazing speakers at Alternatives, and I'm so sad that we didn't get capture from my, my favorite teacher, Ramdas, when he was there, or Thich Nhat Hanh, or some of the other speakers that we've had that have, um, have really shone, shone the way. I mean, one of the funny incidents we had was um, um, Ronnie Lang, R.D. Lang. Um, we had him in the 1980s. And in fact, Eckhart Tolle, I was talking to recently, was a member of the audience then, <laughs> watching really? Ronnie Lang. And it was towards the end of Ronnie Lang's time, and he was, he was quite drunk. And people were sort of going, what's he saying? Is it so <laughs> profound that I can't get it? <laughs> and they're great moments as well. So there's, there, there's some comic moments as well as... As, uh, as some very profound moments that happen. Yes, I, I just, sometimes, in, especially when you're doing things live, it's, it's the unexpected, which is the most electric and the most yes. exciting. And I wish we'd had that on camera as well. Yeah, <laughs> it would have been great. But um, the other thing was, that, that sometimes you get some, some great questions. I think what, what I love about our audience is that we've got a really inquiring audience. So sometimes the real dynamic happens when you get to the Q&A stage. And then they really challenge the speaker. It's not a question of, oh, how wonderful you were. It was so great to listen to your words of wisdom. Thank you from my ego. It's much more about, well, how do you see this in light of what you're saying? And I think, for me, the great speakers have really shown themselves when they get, get engaged with an audience that are genuinely inquiring, what is this really about? What are the depths of this? What are the ramifications about this for humanity? Mm. 
And I think it's also important to say that this is not designed as a replacement for people attending events in person. There's, there is no alternative to actually being there in person with the speaker. But it adds another dimension. And as you said, for people which are not able to make certain uh, talks or certain workshops, that it gives them a chance to, to join. And people that have been there, it gives them a chance to revisit. But there's also going to be some elements which will be independent of the courses and workshops. So there's going to be some interviews. So there'll be certain speakers we'll do interviews with in addition to the courses and workshops. I think what we're looking at is a really broad spectrum of actually bringing our work through in, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a way that is filmed and does it justice. And it's a, it's a bit like going to a, a football match. There's nothing like the sort of like the, the power of being there in the audience and really sort of getting the vibe of what's happening or a, or a great concert. But um, you may want to revisit that a number of times. I know I've watched my, my, my hero, Leonard Cohen, a number of times. And although I've seen him live and love it, I've also really enjoyed revisiting the videos. Yes, and I know something that, that, that you and I have spoken about is that, that people often they have that hunger for wisdom and contact with great teachers more than just on a kind of Monday night or a kind of going to a workshop once a month, that they, to be able to have that in the comfort of their own home, to be able to, rather than watching, you know, some box set of an evening, to actually be able to watch their favorite speakers at alternatives, in dialogue, offering courses, offering workshops. It's a very powerful way for someone to support their own development and their own practice. Funnily enough, when I look at um, some of the skills that I try and teach people in workshops, one of them is to nourish yourself, to feed yourself, certainly in the, in the evenings before you go to bed, rather than watching a violent film, is to watch something that uplifts you and inspires you. So you go to bed for the full of possibility. We are in a very changing world, and we need our teachers. And the interesting thing is that we try to bring through the people who are not coming from a place of pure ego. I'm, I'm not going to pretend they don't have ego. That's extremely rare. But what I do see is, is that most of the speakers that we want to bring through at Alternatives are in service to life. Mm. And I think the possibility of that service being an ongoing feature for the people who are watching um, is, is a great step in the right direction. And we're currently adding a number of speakers and courses, workshops, talks to the, in a sense, the catalogue of events that we'll be collaborating on uh, producing. The ones that we know we have at the moment are Marion Williamson and Michael Beckwith and Jeff Foster. And we're also exploring a number of other events. And of course, we'll announce those as we, as we add those um, to uh, the collaboration. Um, I just want to say, Malcolm, that I'm extremely excited about this. I've been a fan of alternatives for 15 or so years. And knowing what Conscious2 can do in terms of really capturing the intimacy and transmission, it feels very exciting to bring you know, your library of speakers and experience in terms of that side with our capacity to bring that alive in terms of the digital side. So I really appreciate your, uh, your kind of collaboration and kind of working together on this. Thank you. At the risk of being a mutual appreciation society, <laughs> I'd also say that, uh, that I love what you're doing at Conscious 2. I think that there is a consciousness around it. And for me, that's what's important. It's not just about getting it filmed. It's actually about finding ways to bring it through, having the sensitivity to be able to tune in to what's happening and to creating a, a way in which it can be seen beyond the going to the talk or going to the workshop. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Malcolm. And if you'd like to... Um, join Conscious2, that's the way to access not only the Alternatives channel and give you access to all of the content that we create in partnership with Alternatives, but it also gives you access to everything else in the Conscious2 library, which is over 250 hours of courses, workshops, uh, yoga classes, including workshops of people like uh, Byron Katie, Muji, Ken Wilber, and many, many other people as well. You can either pay monthly, you can pay yearly, you can pay two yearly, you can cancel at any time so you're not locked in to some ongoing thing. If you're curious even, it would be a great idea to sign up even just for a month to just get a taste of what we're doing. We're currently also rolling out Apple TV, iPhone, iPad apps, an Android app coming later in the year as well. So you can have that same seamless experience you would have for something like Netflix. And in some ways you could say, it's a Netflix experience, but for your inner life. And we'd love to have you as part of the platform. So thank you for watching, and hopefully you'll join us with the Alternative Channel on Conscious Tea.